Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch and it's the first Tuesday of the month and you regulars know what that means. It is time for Unreal Engine 3 stuff. Yes, Unreal Christmas in September is here. We've got five free assets. These are yours to keep free forever as long as you buy them before the first Tuesday of next month. Buy, I put in air quotes because quite frankly, they are zero dollars. We're going to start things off with the eye candy. We've got three graphical packs, one engine plugin and one game prototyping kit this month. This is the first of the action pack or the uh, graphic packs. Uh, this is the modular old town. So you can see everything you need to make this environment that we see before us uh, is in this pack. So everything worked in a modular manner. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the overview map of this one. So here is the showcase and everything you see here. So a variety of different uh, co cobblestones. We've got some roof tiles here, various different uh, accoutrements. Uh, we got some uh, vines and trees, wall types, and so on. All of these things go together to create that Mediterranean style village. A pretty straightforward asset pack on the whole. Now, next up, we have a Slavic village. Let's go ahead and take a look at what is in this town. So do we have interiors? Kinda. All right, so we have everything you see to make uh, outhouses. Do we have an interior? Yeah, we do. All right, so uh, all the stuff you see here to create this Slavic style village is in this pack, including a broken down old van out front. Uh, was that a water cistern? I think so. Uh, and then again, a variety of different uh, shacks and uh, buildings and so on. Uh, so here uh, we got some graffiti. I don't know what that says. If you do, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to recreate a Slavic village, that is what this pack is all about. Again, this one is relatively modular as well. Let's go check out the overview map on it. And here we go. So these are the assets that you get for this particular pack. And again, the water, again, cistern, I believe it is, a variety of different gangways or walk planks, uh, some sheds, a couple of vans, two different vans going on, a number of different broken down sheds, uh, and then all of the pieces you need. There's the graffiti right there, and then the uh, pieces that go together to make up the various different houses. So again, another modular pack. Uh, there is another demo map showcasing the Slavic village. Let's go check that one out quickly and gives you an idea of the other things you can do with this. Let's go to presentation mode. So here we've got uh, the shack here and the, the world environments the bridging, and so on. So that is uh, the uh, Slavic Village pack. Next up, we have a bit of a shift in art style. This is the low poly nature of lush and diverse environments pack. So you see it's forests and such, a very, very low poly. Uh, this one is gonna probably be overall of a bit less use just because if you're not using this style, I don't know what you would do with it. Uh, you get an idea of what is in this pack right here with this demo map. There's a couple different style demo maps here. So let's go check out the floating aisle one. And here you see it. So again, that low poly, high saturation color approach is what you are getting here. And let's go check out the overview, the kind of assets that you are getting in the low poly nature set. So we've got a variety of modular wooden fences, a bunch of ruined walls, campfires and planks. So th actually, there's a lot more in the overview than there is in the demos. A uh, variety of different shrubs and bushes and grasses. Uh, and over here, we've got a variety, 83 different mushrooms. We've got a lot of mushrooms, low poly mushrooms going on. 196 different plants. Uh, and then over here, we have 35 different rocks, a variety of mounds, hills, backgrounds, cliffs, floating islands, let me just quickly zoom over here, find out what this stuff is. Uh, water plains. And then we go over here, and this is where our uh, plethora of trees are, both uh, with and without uh, stuff. Got withered trees, stumps, tree branches, tree logs, and so on. And then all of the various different trees. So again, this is one that the overview actually looks a ton better uh, than the actual demonstration maps do in terms of the kind of content you're getting with this. So that is your three different pure content asset bundle assets items here. Next up, we have the uh, turn-based strategy RPG template. So this is all about creating, say, a Heroes of Might and Magic type game. So here we've got the demo. Let's just go ahead and check that one out. So we start off in our room. The first thing you've got here is uh, mouse navigation. You've got, you can integrate with their dialogue plugin, but over here you're gonna see recruit army troops like so. So again, it is a very Heroes of Might and Magic-y vibe to it. Uh, okay, he doesn't do anything. 
And over here we have passive enemies. Uh, these guys, you can fight them if you actually go up and engage them in a battle. But if we move on over here, I believe we have some more active enemies. Uh, so we have object interactions as well. So I come here uh, and, you know, so if you open up a chest, here you can see you've got things for leveling up. So if you've done... If you've played a Heroes of Might and Magic game, you're going to 100% recognize what this template is going for. And then here, instead of the passive uh, enemies that you need to engage with, there should be active ones, but they, they don't seem to be there. Uh, again, we have another interaction here. So, boom. And then we've got a boss fight, like so. So we could do it with a hex grid or a square grid. Let's go ahead with a hex grid, and we'll do the battle there. And you see you set up like this. Um, so you deploy your troops into the world, into the relevant areas, like so, and then battle. So this is how a boss fight works. You see you've got your typical turn order as well, taking damage and time. Uh, and then the other one, I'll come back and show you it straight from the beginning. The other one here is uh, you engage the battle here. It's a more traditional style. So it's the square-based grid. Again, deploy your troops into the world. You do have obstacles and such that you can deal with. And there you go. And once again, um, you've got your initiative order set up here, various different turn handling. Uh, you've got your navigation here for moving and then attacking. Again, this is a straight up Heroes of the Might and Magic template, 100%. So if you're looking to create Heroes of Might and Magic type game, uh, this could be interesting. You even actually have some special abilities over here that you can use, boom. So basically, it is a template for creating Heroes of Might and Magic, which is kind of interesting because there's literally just announced a new Heroes of Might and Magic game. Uh, and then the final new thing we have is actually implemented as a plugin. So you basically install it, go on down here. It is the customizable interaction plugin. It's this guy right here. If you want to go ahead and check that one out, come down here once you've installed it like this. Uh, come on down here, make sure that you've turned on uh, plugins, show... Um, plugin assets here, so show engine plugin content over there. And then you will find it here, engine content, custom, like so. You can find a demo of that available right here. And this one is basically about interactions in your world. It is implemented as C++ classes. So go ahead and we'll just play the demo here. So you've got two kinds of proximity detection. Uh, okay, what's going on? Let's try that again. Play the demo. All right, so you got two kinds of uh, proximity detection, character-based and camera-based. You can toggle with them with the C. Over here, you see you've got interaction, so that's a straight out, just hit E to grab something. Over here, again, E to grab something. But you also have interaction in the form of holding down buttons, like that, so a time-delayed interaction available there. Uh, and then we have some uh, physical-based interactions, constant there. And if I switch the camera type, it should interact in a different manner. So that uh, is what this one is all about. It's all those various different interaction systems you might need. So again, hold down to interact, um, quick tap to interact. And there's the two proximity modes there. This one, again, is an engine plugin implemented as C++. So that is the uh, hands-on portion. Quick overview. So once again, we had the modular old town. We had the Slavic village. And we had the low uh, poly nature, lush and diverse environments pack. So three straight up content packs, asset packs for visual stuff. Uh, we had the uh, turn-based strategy RPG template. This one is blueprint-based, basically implementation of Heroes of Might and Magic. And then we have the customizable interaction plugin. Uh, this is a C++ plugin for customizable detection nodes, widgets, and more made in C++ op and for optimized and advanced logic. If you want to go ahead and check these out, basically go to the free category and free for the month. As of the time this video is up, they should all be available. Just come on in, add them to cart, and check out. No purchase is required. So that is this month's free stuff. Let me know what you think of this month's giveaway. Hopefully you are hoarding these even if you're not using them. But let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.